Hey folks, welcome back to Carl's Off The Grid. This week on Carl's Off The Grid, we are going to address the big green monster. If there's one thing that I can't stand at the cabin, it is the big green monster. And I think we have a resolution to it. Um, let's go walk in the cabin and we'll see if you don't recognize what I'm referring to. All right, so you got a bunch of buddies that are coming up to the off the grid cabin to do a hunting trip with you. And you get to the front door, you open it up, and what do you see? <laughs> this is what we've been using as our kitchen table since the cabin was built. All right, welcome back to the cabin. So, you know, imagine that scenario. You come up with a bunch of buddies, and I'm a big guy, and, uh, you know, I go over a couple hundred pounds and my friends are all about the same stature. And if you ever seen uh, my son Nick or my other son Matt, they're both pretty big guys too. Nothing against this table, but this is made, I think, by Coleman. And I bought this probably 18 to 20 years ago when the kids were little. It was a fold-up picnic table that we used to use in our tent when we went camping. And it's great. It folds up into a little backpack and you can hike it anywhere you want to go. But once you start getting some grown men sitting on top of a plastic table, things start to crackle and creak. And I know maybe I should go on a diet, but uh, much easier than going on a diet, I think we're just going to replace this table. And I've got a really cool idea of what we're going to use when we replace this table. Um, and I'd like to share that with you on this video. If you have a tiny home or a small cabin where you're trying to save space, check this out. Here's our new kitchen table. Isn't it great? Um, we picked this up from a store that I don't know if I can legally say its name or not on air, but it starts with an I and ends with a Kia. And um, anyways, we found this table for, I think it was under $150. It seats eight. It has extra shelving uh, underneath it where you can keep your silverware and all that good stuff. And there's shelving on the back side as well. I'm putting it up against the wall right now temporarily because we're not going to have eight people. So you're probably wondering how the heck are you going to set eight people up around that table, Carl? Well, check this out. Nick is going to help me set it up. Now keep in mind when we set it up, I'm working on a rough floor that I haven't installed my new flooring yet. This is just the rough flooring. So I know everything on the top is not gonna be level, but we do have little skid panels that go underneath this to level it off. I will be using those once the new floor is in, but I don't wanna put them on uh, until that time. So I just wanna show you this for practical purposes. Here we go. That's it. We got our table now. Um, so for a tiny home, I thought, what a great option this is. Check out these chairs. Now keep in mind, uh, what drew, drew us to this table is we only use the table for our meals. That's it. When, it, when the meals are over with, we fold this thing up and we want it out of the way. So the chairs that came with this table, um, really uh, are practical, they're easy to store, and drew me uh, into the purchase because here they are as well. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me here, but the chairs are pretty heavy duty stools that are just the right height for an adult. When you put them out around the table, you're gonna be sitting at the perfect height and they're, oddly enough, <laughs> they're comfortable enough to where you can sit here, enjoy a meal, um, play a game of cards or something like that and not be killing yourself. Yeah, they don't have back support and if you wanted to lounge around and maybe have a cold beverage or something like that, you know, you're probably gonna wanna look at being out on the deck or hanging out with the friends out by the campfire. Um, these aren't gonna be something where you're gonna wanna sit and uh, be here a couple hours, you know, slowly, you know, dining with your friends or whatever 
we're talking about practical sir, uh, purposes here. And uh, so that's what drew me to this. The chairs are stackable. We can real easily fold them away in one corner. You saw how small this table was when it folded up. What we usually like to do is, um, well, we're still trying to get a feel for how we want to use it, but um, I'll fold it up and then I'll turn it sideways, put it in the corner, and then that opens up the whole living room area. So when we have company that comes in, uh, you have lots of room where different people can sit. And then even at that time, if you got little kids or you know teenagers that want to sit, you pull a couple of these stools out in front of the uh, the table when it's folded up, and they can lean a bit back against the table as a backrest, and this is just fine. So I was really excited when I seen this table. I know I had discussed with you earlier the possibilities of maybe putting a table. We put backing in this wall behind me here, and we were going to put maybe a fold-down table or something of that nature. But we started to think it to think about practicality. This is a really tiny cabin, and um, if we do have three couples that are here, you know, you really don't have a lot of room to, to walk around in. So we wanted uh, to be able to have the luxury, in case it's raining outside, to have a place that sits enough adults where you can eat uh, comfortably, and uh, by the time you're done eating, if you want a little bit of room to lounge around, you collapse the table. So Nick and I are going to quick move these chairs. Sure, now that Nick is finally sitting down and resting. Yeah. We're going to quick move these chairs and we'll show you again how quick it is to collapse the table and um, how easy it is to store these chairs. So Nick, let's slide these chairs out of the way and collapse this table. Alrighty. This one yours. Yeah, I'll take that one. That's it. It's all done and over with. This table's dimensions, once it's collapsed, it's roughly only about maybe a foot deep by maybe three feet wide. So it takes up very minimal space. Um, you could put a uh, tablecloth across the top here and set some candles out. And like I said, you, get, you have these storage shelves on both sides where if you wanted to put your utensils in there, you could or if you want to put your card games in there or anything like that, um, you could use it. So the days of having the big green monster in the middle of the room are over with. Um, I'm not sponsored by IKEA and I'm not doing anything uh, to promote their product by any means. I'm not being paid by them to promote their product is what I meant to say. But simply, uh, I was shocked when I went shopping there with my wife um, she found the store. We typically didn't have any Ikeas here in Wisconsin where we live. And when one came to the area, she was real excited. And she said, I found a whole bunch of neat options. And we actually went to the store to pick up a table that we could fold down from the wall here. But uh, when we saw this table, we thought it's small. It has enough storage space. And I don't have to drill into this tongue and groove wall. I don't know about you, Nick, but after the, the nightmare of installing this stuff, you know, on the video, it looks easy when you look back in the video when we installed this, but the reality of it is, is it's a lot of work to, to be able to do this. So um, if I don't uh, have to drill any holes through here or damage this, I really don't want to unnecessarily. So um, that's the table that we chose for the cabin. So if any of you have any other ideas about um, tables for saving space or any furniture that you'd like to see for a tiny cabin or an off-the-grid cabin like this that might be able to help benefit our community, don't be afraid to drop a line on the comment section below and uh, share your ideas with us. And so this is the first part. We got the kitchen kind of figured out, or I should say the dining area figured out. Uh, while we were at the store, we also found some kitchen cabinets, countertops um, that are smaller and shorter. 
Um, I'll show you that space next uh, in our cabin. It's the back hallway and um, there's not a lot of room there. So we needed to find cabinets that were a shallower depth and uh, Ikea has all sorts of good ideas for for small apartments or tiny places and so you know I got a feeling that I'll probably be doing a couple more videos from things that we purchased there. Um, we still need to come up with beds for the lofts um, in the loft and in our bedroom we're still sleeping on air mattresses and I'll tell you what that is another thing that's got to go pretty quick. A um, couple neat options that they had there um, and I don't want to let too much out of the bag because it'll, it'll uh, it'll spoil future videos, but they've got great ideas for beds and storage and I know for a fact I'm going to be doing a video on that. We did make a purchase and um, I'll be sharing that with you in the near future. So I uh, just wanted to share this info with you. I hope that you might find it uh, helpful. If you don't have a store in your area, check them out on the internet. It's getting to be a small world. A lot of things I'm sure that you could probably order online and have delivered to your house. Um, so yeah, if you have any options, uh, any other options, if you know of any other stores that sell things for small houses or tiny cabins at a reasonable price, uh, drop a line down here in our comments section below the video and uh, share that with the community. And I'd appreciate it because believe me, when you guys do share tips with me, I check the stuff out and I see if it works. Now. If I start having problems with this, uh, before you start thinking this is all uh, fine and dandy and rosy, when I looked at the uh, assembly of this, it's built pretty good. But if something fails, I'll share it with you in the future. But right now, I'm just thrilled with it. These tiny little chairs, not only are they stackable and everything, but they're built pretty solid. Um, the other night, we were playing sheep's head around the table, and uh, you know I'm sitting here wiggling around on this thing, and we're you know, throwing our fists on the table and having fun and getting loud and these things are still as solid as a rock. So hopefully that'll help uh, benefit you guys. So, all right, as usual, uh, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and the viewers of these videos and welcome all the new subscribers and thank you guys for your support. We'll catch you next week on Carl's Off The Grid with possibly another interior tip.